What is up guys, Ian here from Co-Create Today, taking your mindset from a place of lack to a place of abundance. Today I just want to talk about, in order to be a millionaire, you have to have millionaire habits. So a while back I kind of emphasized you should fake it till you make it. You should act as if you already had the things that you wanted or act as if you already were the person you wanted to be. And in doing so, you would attract all those things that uh, whatever you were going for would look like. Now, acting like a millionaire is so important into uh, actually becoming a millionaire because it's not acting, it's not just acting, it's the habits that come around and the habits of a multimillionaire that make multimillionaires. So what am I trying to say? I'm trying to say there are certain things that each and every multimillionaire does that creates their wealth and that creates the persona of a multimillionaire. Every single day they do certain things, they react certain ways, and they think certain ways. Now, from what I can tell, a multimillionaire thinks a lot differently than an employee. They think in three different perspectives and are open to new ones rather than one concrete. A multimillionaire sees everybody as a superior. Multimillionaires can learn from each and every person and no one is lesser than them in information. The most unintelligent, just blame person could teach someone something. Now, if you could realize that you're on your, your way to having a multimillionaire mindset. Okay, so what are a few other multimillionaire habits that create multimillionaire personas? Well, first of all, you know how to take action. Multimillionaires are hard workers. Instead of working for uh, 40 hours and done, no, multimillionaires work 40 hours and then some, and then more on their project. So the, the grind never stops. I mean, always trying to improve yourself and always working when not necessary is how a multimillionaire gets ahead and becomes wealthy. Now, if you think that you're gonna put amount of work in and get such and such result in a business setting that is non-existent. Now, a business setting works. It's a lot of work, a lot of work, a lot of work, little result. A lot of work, a lot of work, a lot of work, little more result. A lot of, 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 more and more results, more and more results. And then by the time that you get the ball running, after tons and tons of work, your growth is going to grow exponentially. It's going to start right here and it's going to go right up. Only because you put in a, an immense amount of work prior to. And as you get better and better and your skills more harnessed and more sharp, you're going to be able to uh, just maintain and execute business in very efficient matters. So a multimillionaire works hard without expecting anything in return. Another one is, uh, I mean, a multimillionaire should dress like a multimillionaire. Uh, I think that's well, that was the first thing for me is just like, dude, if I'm going to act like I'm wealthy, I better, I better dress the part. So I'm um, dressing up, up in um, button down shirts, wearing um, nice shoes or slacks and um, just like putting on that persona like hey like I'm actually taking myself serious I want to become something I want to be build a big enough asset so I don't have to work so I'm my own work I'm literally my own business 
And if you can really enterprise that and really show people like, hey, like this right here, this has been a lot of work and this is a persona that I, I'm building for myself, for my future family, for my future generations and my future United States of America, building this country. Now, this country runs off free enterprise and for people to take advantage of that and take advantage of um, the government, even though they want you to, uh, it's just ridiculous. So a multimillionaire does not take advantage of anybody. A multimillionaire enterprises themselves and takes advantage of himself and his God, takes advantage of what has been given to him so he can share it with others. You know, I, I truly believe that a successful multimillionaire is a, a, a very giving person. Um, and whether or not they, they give in order to receive, they give because they know that giving is, a, is an immense and very appropriate uh, action to receive. Now, even though you might not know that uh, giving is so important, and I made a video about this not too long ago, and a uh, multimillionaire gives back. You know, if you're a greedy multimillionaire, you're probably not successful in my eyes. So I'm talking about successful multimillionaires, and, and all that I know is that you tithe. You give back your 10%, if not 20%. And you continue to give and give and give and give. And you know what? You're going to receive something of the same price. It might not be money. Most likely is not money, but it could be experience. It could be people. It could be just all around sense of like good and love. And I think in order to get to where we want to, we have to implement these, these little habits into our lives so we can potentially see the perspective of a multimillionaire. And I, I truly want to be successful so bad because I know that in the future it's going to be so much harder for um, just anybody to, to actually get out of the, the environment that they're in. Now. It might not be easy, it, not, it might not be hard to get and become wealthy per se, but getting around the right environment is so important because getting around the, the right environment is going to actually affect your family and your future generations. The way that you give your, your children your morals and your wife your morals is how you become successful. And that's what I'm talking about. I want to be a successful multimillionaire. And I want to treat people right. And I want to learn the law of attraction. And I want to use it every single day to receive and not only give. And I want to become a successful entrepreneur through the eyes of my God. And I want to be successful through the eyes of America. And I want to share that wealth and share that knowledge and share that faith with everyone that I come in contact with. Because I know that they truly have the same potential. It's not that I'm different by any means. It's just that I've started certain habits for myself that are going to recipro reciprocate through financial success and financial um, independency. And I started this a long time ago, but that means that doesn't mean that you can't start today. So hopefully this inspired you to become or want to become an entrepreneur and start thinking of the ways that you could actually implement implement habits of multimillionaires in your life. So have a beautiful day, guys, and I'll catch you later. Namaste.